Greetings ladies and gentlemen. I hope everyone is fine. Guys, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. All right? We are about to hit 2000 subscribers. We are on 1940 subscribers as we are recording this video. All right? We are on 1940 uh, and 40 subscribers so on this channel we solve a lot of uh, uh, questions mathematics a lot of, a lot of subjects mathemat including mathematics chemistry physics biology uh, civic education and other subjects all right so in this video we're going to solve this question which came in 2024 paper 2 GCE. Okay, under sets. Alright, so, okay, yeah. so we'll be revising 2024 paper uh, GCE past papers. Okay, past papers um, before the 2024 internal exam. Now, let's get started. The Venn diagram below. The Venn diagram below shows the number of elements uh, in set of set sets P, Q, and R. So you have set um, set P, Q, and R. So you have P here, Q, and R this side. And then we are asked to now listen. Set R here is in set P. So, what we are going to do, let's first read the question. Find the number of the value of x such that the number of elements in set P is equal to 18. This n here means the number of elements. This P is the set P. So, the number of elements in set P is equal to 18. Okay. So, what we can do here, we can simply solve. Okay. Let's solve like this. The first question, which is question one here, set P here, we're going to add everything that is in this set. All right? So in this set, including set R, since it is in set P, we're going to add X plus X plus one plus two X plus one. 2x plus 1 and this is equals to 18 okay is equals to 18 okay is equals to 18 then we can group the like terms so here there is x this there is x even here so we can say x plus x plus 2x is equals to 18 and then look at this these these are constant number they don't have a variable so they'll go to the other side and since both are negative positive they'll become neg negative now this is x this is x and this is 2x so when adding you add the coefficient the number in front of the variable so the number in front of this x is 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 2, 4. So here we simply have a 4, 4x. Four then 18 minus 1 is 17. 17 minus 1 is 16. So here is just 16. When you reach this stage, you divide both sides by, by 4. This 4 and this 4 cancel. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 4 into 4, 1. 4 into 16 is 4. So 4 goes into 16 4 times. So the value of x is 4. Okay. As simple as this. Now, um, look at this. The second question is, you asked to find the number of elements in R complement. Complement, it means excluding, not including. So we are not going to include R, set R. So what, where is set R? Set R is this one, X plus 1. 
so we're not going to include this one we're going to add what is outside r so what is outside r we have 12 plus x plus 2x plus 1 plus 1 now where there is x since we've already found the value of x we can substitute with 4 so 12 plus 4 plus 2 times 4 plus 1 then we can multiply here so we can just write 12 plus 4 2 plus times a, uh, 4 is 8 plus 1 okay so 12 plus 4 is 16 16 plus 8 is 24 24 plus 1 is 25 so the number of elements in set R complement is simply uh, 25 simply 25 okay then question 2 I mean 3 we are asked to find the number of elements in R union G so they don't have a complement here R union G look at this this R union G R union Q sorry R union, union Q Mm -hmm. so look at r r is here union q so it means that combine r set r here and set q including the x since this x is already is also in set q so we're going to add 12 plus x this x here plus x plus one plus x plus one then Let's substitute. Okay. So when you substitute here, x with 4, it will be 4 plus 4 plus 1. So 12 plus 4, this is 16. 16 plus 4 is 20. 20 plus 1 is 21. Okay. 21. Let's solve the last one, the last question, which is question four. Question four, we are asked to find the number of elements in P intersect Q complement. So, understand this, what is P first, what is P intersect Q? P, P intersect Q is X here is x so when they mean p intersect q the whole of it here in brackets complement it means excluding x okay excluding x so we're not going to consider this x we're going to add everything um apart from the x there all right so this is going to be 12 this is going to be 12 plus x plus 1 plus x 2x plus 2 so we can just the uh, write x plus 1 plus 2x plus 1 all right then where there is x we do the usual we substitute with 4 all right then here 2 times 4 plus 1 all right here you multiply so it will be 12 plus 4 plus 1 plus 8 when you multiply 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 and 12 plus 4 is 16 plus 1 17 plus 8 25 plus 1 26 so it's giving me 20 the number of elements outside P union Q of the whole of each complement is giving me 26. All right, so uh, consider subscribing, guys, liking the video. You can also recommend the topics that we can solve. All right, thank you so much.